Hi everyone, it's Solly. Welcome back to Big Screen Nation. Today I'm doing a review outside because I've been locked inside for ages. So I've come out for a little bit to take a little exercise and I've stopped off on a bench to rest and I feel like this is the perfect place to... Well, I've got to look around just in case anyone comes. I've gone to do a quick review before um, one of these marshals around here come and move me on. If they move me on, I'll continue my video anyway. So, the film that I've watched lately is called um, Miracle in Cell Number 7. Now, this film is a very... Hmm, it's an X-Fit film. I'll start with that first. And it's got some interesting issues. I was going to say very, very controversial, but it's not really controversial, really. It's just, um, you know, facts of life, things that happen to people. Right, so the star of this film is a man. He's a he's a he's a he's a man, maybe around my age, you know. I can't remember exact age he is, but he's a he's a man. He's a father of um, a young girl, yeah, and he's got like learning disabilities, special, men, um, special needs. So he acts younger than his daughter, yeah. But this man has man managed to father a girl, which he talks about in the film. And um, he lives with his grandma. So him and the, his daughter live with his grandma. And he plays... He basically plays like kids, you know. He plays with his daughter out and stuff like that. You know, he's not really too... He's responsible enough to take his daughter to the shop and stuff like that. But everyone thinks he's like the local nut of the era. Not really understanding his... Um, mental illness so he's basically out playing with a bunch of kids or out playing with his um, daughter and a bunch of kids now one girl decides she wants to um, play with him yeah so he goes and plays he goes and plays with her and she, they end up near an area they shouldn't be when they're cliff she falls off a cliff and he tries to rescue her but she's dead so, because he's special needs, right, and people around the area don't like him, it's the general who kind of runs the area, his daughter. I think it's like a military state or something like that. But a general whose daughter it is, um, he decides to make sure that he pays for the murder. So, he, they beat him into, he beat him into a confession, right, and they really beat him into a confession. Like, I watched that film, and at this stage, I felt like I wanted to turn it off. I felt like I wanted to, because I felt so safe for the man. You know what I mean? He can articulate, he's, 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 he's you know, he's in, got a, the mental capacity to articulate what happened, yeah? And to express that he didn't do it, yeah? But still, they, they even beat him into compressing. This is how bad it is. They beat him up. And basically, yeah, they use his fingerprint as a confession. I won't go into it too much more. But he gets beaten the hell up in that film. And I was about to give up hope on the film. Because, like, I don't feel like it's right to be watching someone of, 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 of a mental, mental age of a small child getting beat the hell out of. You know, but there's hope in the film. You know, he gets, but sadly, he does get put into death row, and he has to go through the process of um, the death row hearings. I mean, you know, um, the truth kind of came out about him that he was innocent, but you know, the general done his best to make sure that this guy pays the price. There's a twist at the end where where he doesn't die, yeah, which was quite good. But I'll say, you know, I might cut that out of editing actually. Hmm. Now, if you watch the film already, you know, I'll put it down as an, as a as a spoiler review or something like that. I won't say it's not a spoiler. But anyway, right. So what's happened? He's he's basically in a cell with these guys while he's on death, death row and you know after a while they actually realize that this guy 
wouldn't hurt a fly, wouldn't hurt a bird, you know what I mean? They see that this guy has got compassion and they don't even understand why he's in there. So, they try their best to find out exactly what happens and, you know, they find out that he is innocent. But in order for this thing, to, for order for everything to work, you know, sacrifices have to be made. And in the film, sadly... You know, a soldier actually saw what happened and the general made sure that he silenced him and silenced anyone else who would come to that guy's defence. So the film nearly had me in tears, man. Yeah, it's, it's one of those emotional films where, you know, I just don't like seeing people of um, special needs being beat the hell out of and mistreated and abused and stuff like that. He's an adult, but, you know, he's like a child. But overall, this film is not in English. So if you're, if you're not... And they don't have audio subtitles for it yet on YouTube. I mean, why am I saying YouTube? What is wrong with me? On Netflix, yeah? So, because it hasn't got um, the subtitles for it on Netflix, for English, you have to watch it in, you know, the languages that are there. But English is not one of the languages. So sadly, I had to read for it all. So if you're not a reader... Yeah, and you don't like reading films with subtitles, you like listening to films sometimes so you can doze off and do other things. This is not your film because you will actually get lost in parts of the story, the reason reason why certain things happen. So I advise, you know, if it's um if you can wait till you know they release some extra audio for it, then do so. If not, then you know might as well not watch it, you know, because you know some people just don't read it too well. Um, that's all I'm going to say about it. It's, it's one of the best films I've seen this year, to be honest. It's, yeah, it is the best story. It's the best story I've seen this year. 100%. I'll give the film four stars. <laughs>